Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel of Ladies Gallery and welcome back to my gallery of all things lovely. Today's video is just a little bit different. Uh, I was supposed to be an unboxing of a brand new Chloe bag that I found on the Real Real, but it um, brand new for me, but a used bag. So when I went onto the Real Real's website, I was looking more or less for like a Gucci bag or a Burberry bag. So I was just going through different brands and, you know, just checking out what they have because I never shopped with the Real Real before. I came across some Chloe bags and I just fell in love with this piece. I love the color, I love the design, I love the size. Um, it's a really, really beautiful bag, definitely an iconic design. Uh, if you're into Chloe, you'd know which one this is. However, when it arrived to me, I was very shocked. <laughs> it's not in the condition that I was expecting it to. So in the listing, they did mention that there was some wear and tear. They did mention there was some marks and they did not picture it correctly as to, you know, the extent of the damage and the wear and tear that this bag really does have. So uh, just to show you the box that it came in. This is the condition that the box arrived to me in. So I'm not gonna close this all the way because it has the label, but this was squished all the way down like this and there's rips and tears all over the side of the box. And I'm not going to fault the real real for that. I do understand that terrible things can happen when shipping. And that's not necessarily the company's fault for how the package arrives, but I don't think the damage with the box has anything to do with the damage that's been done on this bag. Whoever was the previous owner, um, really did not take care of it and used the life <laughs> out of her this poor thing so i thought we would do a bag restore video so i have some things here and i've been doing some research on how to restore leather bags so what i think we're going to do is start with the inside we're going to clean up the inside see if we can get rid of some stains and then we're going to treat the outside and i'll go through each of the items that i'm using as I'm cleaning so you guys can see what I'm using while I'm cleaning the bag and hopefully you can get some tips and tricks out of this also if you have tips and tricks on how to clean up leather bags how to clean Chloe bags specifically um, how to make the leather look nicer how to make the interior look nicer maybe how to get rid of some marks or anything like that if you have experience or if you've seen it before please let me know down in the comments because I feel like I'm going to be working on this bag for quite a while so first let's take a look at the damage on the inside and then when we're doing the outside we can go through that it's not in terrible condition i mean there's not like holes or anything but it's the staining and everything like this so here we go here's just an overview of one side here's a close up of the stains here this is the bottom of the lining. Okay. And this is the other side. So it's sort of the back, so to speak. Okay. So what I read online was to take a mixture of like detergent, dish detergent, and water, so about one teaspoon of detergent and water, which I have here. So I'm just taking a mixture on a paper towel and then just dabbing that through the bag.
see how much we did take out from the inside. And I did change this um, before I started with the inside of the bag. So we got a good amount off. using I mixed about a cup and a half of water with one teaspoon of this antibacterial dish detergent let this dry we're gonna leave it out for a couple of days let it dry let the soap and the water do their thing and see if it actually does anything to help it you know with the stains and stuff and with the smell so we'll definitely come back and revisit that but for now let's try and work on the outside so the outside is a completely different story. <laughs> Definitely not easy. So we have some discoloration, we have some ripping, um, we have, you know, some stretched out places on the sides. As you can see, the corners are very well worn. The straps are very well worn. Um, the clips on the side, just show you here you know you can see the dirt and the despair as well as with the other side this part you know has completely separated almost and it has some more staining here as you can see there so we can super glue that back maybe we'll see 
So for the leather portion of this bag, I'm going to be using this Leather Honey Leather Cleaner. So it cleans and restores leather, faux leather, vinyl, plastic, and rubber. I bought this on Amazon and I've used it on a couple of my bags and it's done an excellent job taking care of the leather, removing stains, removing anything else, you know, on the bag that I don't want there, marks and things like that. And here's the directions, you can see this here. It does say to include a Leather Honey um, leather conditioner, but I don't have that, so we'll just be using the Leather Honey leather cleaner. And we're supposed to be using a lint-free cloth. So I have one here. I got this at Target and it says for polishing. But let's see how well this does with cleaning a leather bag. Okay guys, so what we'll do now is we're just gonna let it dry, especially the inside. We're gonna let it just sit out and air dry for a couple of days. So what I'll do is I'll come back, we'll do a quick review, and then hopefully it'll be ready to use. So I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, welcome back. So it's a few days later. Uh, we've let the leather cleaner dry. We've let the inside dry out completely. And I have to say some of it did work really well but for the most part, really all we did was clean it. I really can't say that we restored anything because the damage is still there and that does look like it's more permanent. Um, 
you know, like something like this on the handle. However, if you guys have any solutions or if you know of anything that would work to take the stains out, uh, to take the wear and tear out if we can, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. I really do love this bag um, and I'm kind of on the fence if I want to keep it or if I want to sell it. I'm really not sure what I want to do. So if you have any suggestions, do you think I should keep it? Let me know down in the comments or if you think I should sell it, let me know. Um, I might put it up on my Poshmark if I do decide to sell it, but for now, I am going to get it ready. We're going to use it today. We're going to see how much stuff that we can fit in. So we'll be doing a mini what's in my bag. Uh, the bag that I'm carrying around right now is this pink Michael Kors here in the background. And I just brought out a few bits and bobs that I wanted to put into this Chloe bag because I think that they match it a little bit better, but we'll get there, you know, as we go through, as we empty out the Michael Kors and into the Chloe. So let's get started. And just real quick guys, just to give you a second look at the back, here's the back and how it turned out. Um, as you can see, these marks up here didn't disappear. Um, I mean, it's clean. You know, we did use the leather cleaner, so it definitely is clean. And it smells a lot better. So here's the inside. Uh, there's a couple of stains we couldn't get out, but it does smell a lot better. It doesn't smell as musty and, you know, old as it did. So that's a good thing. So I'll have to say maybe not so much restoring, but we did get the Chloe bag cleaned. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a little twilly. And what twillies are, they're like little bag scarves. So you can either put it on your bag you know, and tie it around the handles like a bow, or you can put it around the handles themselves. And it adds not only just a little bit of protection, but also a little bit of a design element as well. So I only have one of these twillies and I was using it before as a bag scarf. And this is from Henry Bendel. And I love the design. You know, it has like a blue and a pink with the HB pattern with a little bit of floral. I think this is so pretty. And hopefully it looks good on here. So out of the two handles, because I only have one twilly, I'll only be able to cover one of the handles. But I am gonna go on to eBay or something to see if I can find a similar one. So this one definitely has more damage, so we're gonna put the Twilly on this handle here. And this is also the one that's in the front because the Chloe logo is here in the front. And that's how I like to carry my bags. I just like to have the logo part be the front of the bag. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll tie it into this gold part here first to secure the end. And then we can just wrap this around as we go. And there we go. So if I was to carry it, I carry it like this. I think it's really cute. I think the colors go well together, even though they're not, you know, a complete match. But that's another thing with Twillies is that you can mix and match or, you know, get the same color, whatever you want to do, and whatever your preference is. Okay, so now that we have the Twilly on, we can start emptying all of our stuff into this bag. Just to show you real quickly, this is the Michael Kors that I'm currently carrying around. I've done an unboxing of this bag on my channel before. Uh, if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But this Michael Kors bag is so beautiful, so awesome. I love it so much. I really have enjoyed carrying it around with me. And I added just a little Sagittarius bag charm keychain on here. 
just because I thought it was really cute and the pink rose quartz matched the bag really well. So I might switch back into this bag later on from the Chloe bag just because I love it so much. But for now, just to show you guys how much can fit into the Chloe bag, let's get into it and let's empty it out. First up to change is my Stony Clover by Target pouch that I carry in my bag. I kind of use this as a um, bag insert, you know, just to help it keep it shape. But I also throw everything in here besides a wallet and things, and you'll see that in a second. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer whatever can fit from in here into this bag. And this is a Torrid bag that did a Disney collaboration years ago. And this is just really cute. So you have the Disney princesses on there and it says I woke up like this. And you know, just a regular cosmetic bag. I think it's a good size. And I think the colors really go well with it. I was just going through my cosmetic bag collection, just seeing what would match with the Chloe bag color because it is so different. You know, it's like a different kind of greenish blue. So it's hard to match with it. But I thought this would be really cute. And if you guys are interested in seeing a cosmetic bag collection video, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to film that for you guys. Okay. We're not going to get everything because, you know, you can obviously see a very large size difference. But let's see what we can transfer. Okay, first up is my electronics pouch. I keep like headphones and stuff in here, so that's not gonna fit in. In this pouch that I got from Dollar Tree, I just keep my pens and stuff in here. That won't fit in there either, so we'll just put that to the side. Okay, so we got some tissues. That can go in there. We got some Tic Tacs. All right, we got some perfume samples that I keep in this little pouch. I got my Rose Bath and Body Works lotion. Put that in here. Um, I have my two favorite lippies. This is the YSL Rouge Volup Shine Oil and Stick and the Dior Attic Lip Glow in pink. Okay, so we could put those in there. I have my little um, my little face massager, rose quartz face massager. Looks like this, like a little butterfly, which is really cute. We could fit that in there. I have a compact mirror that I got from Dollar Tree. It's a little messed up in the front, but it's heart shaped, so I love it so much lighter always good to have a backup lighter with you I have my Bath and Body Works um, spray which one is this champagne toast and this is an antibacterial spray that I keep in here so obviously we won't be able to fit it in the pouch but we can get it in the bag later on next up is my little bag holder and I've shared these things in uh, previous videos so if you have watched my previous videos and seen all these things, I'm sorry to repeat myself, uh, but I do carry a lot of the same things around with me all the time. So that's just a little bag hook. All right, and then finally, just a little brush with a little hair tie. And then in the back zipper here, I just have some face masks. You could put those to the side and we're all empty. So we got all of our stuff into the other cosmetic bags. Definitely a tighter fit because it's so much smaller. But there you go, so you can see everything in there. Let's see if she fits. All right, there we go, very snugly. I don't really change this pouch up too much just because everything fits in there perfectly. Um, so no matter what color I bag, I, use, I always use that same pouch. And then here's the pens. Very good. And then we can put the face masks. Here in the back. That's how 
how we're looking so far. Got our face masks back here, the pouch with all of our stuff in it, and then these two pouches here, so we still have some space for the wallet and the keys and the other little goodies. Get that in there as well. So the wallet that I was using for the Michael Kors bag is my favorite Ted Baker wallet. I love this wallet so much. I get so many compliments on it whenever I pull it out. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, it has the diamantes here and the little pearl detail here, the zipper in the back, and it has the rose gold detail. I just love this. Uh, I try not to use it as much because I don't want to get too much wear and tear. As you can see here in the corner, it's definitely showing some wear. Um, so I try to use, you know, like a different pink wallet if I can, but I think that these two go together perfectly. And then for this bag, we're going to be using my Henry Bendel wallet. It's not exactly the same color, you know, not the same uh, hardware color either, but I was going through my wallets and looking for something that would match it or to come close. Um, I was thinking about my Loungefly wallet with Bambi. Uh, it had similar colors, but it was a more on the green side. So I wanted to uh, touch more on the blue than the green. Um, obviously it's not an exact match. And I do have a bag to match this wallet, but I think they go okay together. You know, it's not terrible. It's not an exact match, but it's not terrible. And it's better than having, you know, like a pink or, um, you know, like a white or something like that. I could do black. I do have a couple of black wallets. Um, if you're interested in seeing a wallet collection video, let me know down in the comments. That's another video that I would love to film for you guys as well. So if you're interested, just let me know and I'll work on it for you. But this is a Henry Bendel wallet. And I was such a Henry Bendel girl when it was in business. I love Bendel so much. Uh, really sad to see it go, but I cherish the pieces that I do have in my collection and I like to get really good use out of them and they're just really beautiful products and really beautifully made. So we'll transfer over to this Bendel wallet. It is a little bit on the slimmer side as well, so it'll fit better in the smaller bag, but I'll put all my contents in it and then we'll put it in. Okay guys, while I was filling up my wallet, I just noticed something that I really forgot that I really loved about this wallet was the lining. And I think that lining is just so pretty. It's like a purpley royal blue color. And that is just so gorgeous. Okay guys, wallet is all filled, ready to go. So what we're gonna do is just put it in here on the back. Very nice snug fit. Then we have our antibacterial spray. Just fit that right in here on the corner. Okay guys, next are my sunglasses. These are just my current Burberry sunglasses that I'm using right now. So we could just put that here in the front. I have my keys. I featured this pouch before on my channel. Um, so we can just throw the keys in there. And the last thing that I would put in there is my phone. So as you can see, we got all of our stuff in here. Everything's fitting nicely, nice and snug. Um, nothing's you know being crushed except for the pen pouch, but that's okay. It just has the sunglasses on top of it. So it really did fit everything in there nicely. Um, this is a fantastic bag. If I could have bought this brand new with tags, um, I definitely would have, but it was very expensive. There were some of this style going for up to $1,500, and I just thought that was insane. So when I found this, I love this color. I love the style. Um, I love the ability to carry it on your shoulder or on the crook of your arm. Just everything about this bag is really, really nice. And I was hoping that the way that we cleaned it, you know, using the leather cleaner, that that would help out a little bit, but it is what it is. And I'm going to use it anyway for the time being. Again, just let me know what you think. Should I keep it? Should I sell it? Should I just use it uh, for now and then sell it later? All your thoughts and opinions, please let me know down in the comments. But that's all I have for you today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're into all things girly and lovely. I do bag unboxings, general haul videos, shop with me videos, 
um, mystery unboxings, pretty much everything girly and lovely and I try to sprinkle in a little bit of fun wherever I can. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you a part of our gallery. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.